Question number two says, when a certain grocery store is open, it has 50 pounds of bananas to start on the display table. The customers remove bananas from the display table at a rate modeled by the F function. Now, it's important to recognize that this is a rate. This F of T function is a rate and it is being removed. Where F of T is measured in pounds per hour and T is number of hours after stores open. After the store has been open for three hours, the store employees add bananas at a rate. Again, this G function is a rate and we're adding, so it's going opposite of the F function. And it's important that because the store is open after the store has been open for three hours, the domain of this function is for T is greater than three. And it says G of T is measured in pounds per hour as well. So question number A, part A says, how many pounds of banana are removed from the display during the first two hours a store is open? What are some keys here? So some keys are to recognize that these are both rate functions. And the fact that the net change is going to be the area under these rate functions. So we're going to have to integrate these. Another part is that we need to interpret the derivative of the rate. We need to be, all, be able to interpret the integrals of rates and also the derivatives of rates. So for part A, we want to know how many pounds of bananas are removed from the display. Well, the rate is given, so the total amount or the net change can be given by an integral. So the change in the weight is equal to the, the area under the rate function, so f of t, and it's going to be from 0 to 2. Now, we cannot anti-differentiate this function, so we have to rely on our graphing calculator to do this. To do this, we're going to use a shade function. So when we apply the shade function, the integral or the integral function, we're going to end up with that area that we shade from 0 to 2 under the F graph works out to be 20.05, looks like 511, so we're going to round that to 0, 05 pounds. Okay, so the, the F of T is in pounds per hour. If we multiply that by DT, we're going to get pounds. And that's what our units are. For part two, it says find F prime of seven and correct units explain the meaning of F prime of seven in the context of the problem. Now we could go ahead and differentiate this and find the derivative. But since this is a calculator section, we, all we really need to do is use your calculator to find f prime at 7. So using the dy by dx function on the graphing calculator, we're going to find the dy by dx at x equals 7. And when we apply this on the graphing calculator, finding the slope value at x is 7, we end up with a value of negative 8.119, so I'm going to round that to 8.12. And it's important to understand the, the units of this, of, this, um, of this derivative. So it's going to be the change of the rate. So it's going to be pounds per hour per hour. Okay, it's a rate of change of the pounds per hour per hour. So this is going to be the rate at which the 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 rate at which the rate is changing is going to be negative eight point one two pounds per hour every hour. So this works out to be, and I'm just going to write this as negative eight point one two pounds per hour squared. Okay. And when we look at the 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 marking scheme of this, the marking scheme is going to be. For part one, we're going to get one mark for the integral and one mark for the answer. So we just need to write out the integral and one mark for the answer. And for part B, we need the value. So that's why we can just use our graphing tool, the graphing calculator for this. We can just calculate that on using the function on the calculator. And the meaning, we have to then interpret the meaning. In this case, it's going to be we're decreasing at 8.12 pounds per hour per hour.